All right, so uh, this next uh, video series is going to be on laying a foundation for a beginner for Qigong training. So when you, when you begin uh, Qigong, you, the word Qigong means energy work, working with energy. The breath is energy. In Latin, the breath and spirit are the same word. So the yi, the mind intent, spirit, and the physical breath, they're a type of fusion where you take your mind intent, you fuse it into your breath, and the two become one. Now when the two become one, you want to increase the amount of tentedness you have on your breathing, stretch the joints open, and uh, place your will in the space between your hands outside of your body. The reason why we want to focus outside of the body is if your awareness is inside, your physiology will control your perception. So a lot of internalists say, ah, oh, focus inside the body, loose and relax. No, that's incorrect. That is a guaranteed method for failure. What you want to do is concentrate your will, your spirit, the breath outside the body to activate spirit senses. And when it's outside, your physiology can't control your perception. So you put the feeling here into the space between your hands. You focus your breath, your attention in this space. You gently stretch the joints open and condense the breath in that space and you breathe into that space. The more attention you put right in here, the more you separate from your physiological sensory system and activate your spirit senses via the breath. So this is the basics of Qigong, energy work. You're working with energy. Okay, so take about 10 or 15 minutes just to concentrate on that space, breathe into that space, condense the mind and the breath into that space, and you'll start to get a magnetic quality sensation forming, a fluidic quality on the hands. So I want you to stop the video and jump onto that exercise, just breathe into that space, Put 100% of your attention on that space, condense the breath there, and build up this fluidic quality. Once you have that fluidic quality, jump back to the video, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I'll see you in a few, in a few minutes. All right, now welcome back. Now you've got the fluidic quality feeling there, and you realize it's quite simple to get that. It's just a matter of attentiveness, paying attention, opening the joints gently, focusing your will in this space. Now, your spirit sense that is waking up is clear feeling. Your spirit is feeling energy. As you condense life force, it feels life force. That is reflected through a fluidic magnetic feeling quality. So once you have that there, now we want to expand that feeling quality out, open it right up, compress that feeling quality, condense it in open that feeling quality, and condense. Now, as you open and close this magnetism, you're changing the space. You increase the space, then you condense the space. You open the space, then you close the space. So as you work through this condensing process of condensing this fluid, your mind will start regulating the space of the fluidic feeling, because you're changing it. You're moving it out to there, breathe in, open it up, and then condense it in, back into here. Now, as you expand and condense this space, you'll start to own the feeling of the frequency. After you own it, then you can start putting it inside the body, not before. Okay, so practice that opening and closing of the space, for 10 to 15 minutes until you feel you can move it out to there and then you can compress it in. I'll see you in a few minutes and we'll continue. Okay, welcome back. All right, now the next stage is to take this feeling, this magnetic fluid, and associate it with poor breathing. We want to breathe through the pores. Part of the process that the Buddha describes in his ascension to Nibbana is whole body breathing where you breathe through the pores. The pores act as a second set of lungs for the energy system. So we want to take this feeling of magnetism, this fluidic quality, 
Breathe it in through the pores, fill the whole body, open up all the joints, expand not only in the body but around the body, and then compress. We'll compress into the ball for the moment. Later on, you can compress the dantian. But now, open into the space around you, breathe in through the pores, inflate your body like a balloon so the, the balloon goes all the way around you, inflate all the joints, inflate the facial web of the body like a big balloon, and then compress your will inside of that balloon. Condense. As you're condensing in the balloon, use your hands as a measuring gauge for how much power are you condensing. You can feel that. It is a tuning fork to keep your attention on the magnetic feeling. So condense the whole balloon, but use this as your tuning fork. Condense. Now breathe in again. Expand, fill the balloon. Condense. Breathe in, condense. Breathe in, condense. Okay, so I want you to stop the video again, go on to that exercise, 10 to 15 minutes of expanding the balloon, whole body pore breathing, and condensing using your hands as a tuning fork to keep your mind on the feeling of magnetism. Compress, you can compress into the balloon of the ball, or compress around your whole body into the body and then open it up. Either one of these methods is going to work very, very well. I'll see you in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, welcome back. All right, so now we are going to condense the chi in the Dantian. So this is what a lot of people talk about, Dantian breathing, sinking the chi. The first, you don't actually sink the chi, gravity sinks the chi. All you do is condense and release the chi and it sinks. Trying to sink will uh, mess up the mind and tent. So what we want to do, whole body pore breathe, expand the balloon, inflate the joints, float your whole body into this balloon of magnetic fluid. Now become aware of your center of gravity as the center of this balloon and condense in the center. As you relax, hang the, hang the muscles, open the joints and concentrate your mind in your center of gravity, right in the middle of the belly and along the central axis of the body. Condense, condense, condense. And I want you to bring it down to about a basketball size between your hands and a basketball size of energy in, around your hip cradle and your center of gravity. Just condense it in. Relax and release, let it go. Inflate the balloon and now condense. As you relax, hang the muscles, open the joints, condense that fluidic feeling in your center of gravity, you'll find it'll just naturally sink there by putting your attention there and condensing. You get a sinking of the chi, just by putting your mind there and relaxing, hanging the joints, and being willful in the projection of energy into that center. Now open, expand the balloon. Now, after a few repetitions, you're gonna notice, okay, there's a heaviness here, a grounding effect, while you're expanding and opening up the vital field. Open the balloon, there's a grounding here, This centers you in the field of the feeling around you. Now condense again. And then open. Expand the mind and space around you into a big balloon, float inside the balloon, feel your center of gravity is grounded, but your mind and space is open, and then condense into your center of gravity. Okay, continue to repeat that exercise for 10 to 15 minutes. And switch your video off, and the next exercise, I'll see you, see you then. Okay, welcome back. So now you'd be at a stage where you're feeling magnetic fluid. You're breathing it in through the pores, condensing into your physical center of gravity, and then expanding out outside your body, recalibrating, getting into the floating buoyancy of the life force. What you'll start to notice is that you are grounding yourself naturally in the vitality. Your body drops into the center of gravity, but you have a buoyancy. Your mind is feeling it's floating in the energy but you're grounded, not in gravity, you're grounded in the chi. So when you're in the feeling of vital energy to be more concise, in the jin. When we release time on this, 
then we'll be inside the chi. This is going to be the, the next exercise. Okay, so you've uh, got the magnetic fluidic feeling. We need to have that established. We need to expand it outside the body, and then we need to bring it, condense it inside the body, and then outside the body, inside the body. Once you've established that skill set, now we release time. The method I like to teach for this initially is what we call the four cycle breath. You breathe the vitality in, expand into the balloon around you. Now, you stop breathing momentarily. You go into the quietude, you go into the stillness, and you breathe that timeless, spaceless stillness into the life force as you breathe out. Everything slows down. You're releasing time, essentially. Long, slow out breath. And pause. Enter the stillness again, slow everything down further. Breathe that vital energy even slower. Slower, slower, slower. Release time. Get to the end of the in-breath. Pause. Enter the stillness. Recalibrate that timeless feeling. Reintroduce it even deeper into the gin, into that life force magnetic fluid quality, slowing it down. Okay, so I want you to do this exercise for another 10 minutes or so. And uh, you can set a 10 minute timer for all these different exercises, 15 minutes if you're comfortable, this is up to you. And signs. How do you know you're doing it right? A, the magnetic quality has already been established. B, as you release time, it gets really thick and dense. It becomes like a syrup. Instead of it moving really fast, it starts to move really slow. So this gives you your Tai Chi feeling is because it feels like you're swimming in air. Chen Man Ching statement. Why does it feel like you're swimming in air? Because the time continuum of, of Qi is much slower lower than jinn and physical. So your mind is, is inside of, of an astral feeling quality that's much slower than your physical body. So in order for you to move inside that fluidic quality, you need to go slowly. As you condense this and slow it down, it becomes syrupy. It becomes very, very thick. As it starts to thicken, there's a natural sinking into your dantian, your center of gravity of your body. Because when you move, you move from your center of gravity. So the sinking is a byproduct of the movement. So when you introduce this into your Tai Chi form, you simply condense this thick syrup magnetic fluid in your center and move from your center, everything sinks. All the muscles hang, the energy moves, and you get sinking of the Chi as a natural byproduct of this process of uh, uh, thickening the energy, tuning to the Chi, letting gravity drive everything down and drop and you get sinking the chi inside movement, inside your form. So now this four cycle breath, switch off the video, train it, and recognize the center of gravity, recognize the thick fluidic quality, recognize the signs. Okay, I will see you in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. All right, so if you've been switching the video off and actually training each of these steps, at this point, you're at a stage where you actually can feel sinking the chi. It shouldn't have taken more than one hour to get to this point, maybe an hour and a half, and you are sinking the chi. A lot of Qigong masters will say this is a 10-year training process. That is not true. If you believe it takes a certain amount of time, that's how long it takes. But this is a mechanical process, how you think, how you feel, and how you act, generates conditions. How are you thinking? You're tuning the mind, the spirit into the breath. You're tuning the breath outside the body and condensing it to create vital fluidic feeling. You're expanding inside and outside the body. You're condensing it. Then you're releasing time on it. And now the chi is naturally sinking. So in 90 minutes, you can learn how to sink the chi and do what takes some people 10 years. It doesn't need to take 10 years. 90 minutes is more than enough. Okay, so, so now we're at this stage where we have got chi. We've got the chi sinking, we've got the deep fluidic feeling. Now I want you to stand up and uh, do exactly the same movement. All right, so we're, we're at this place where we're 
expanding the, expanding the, the breath. We're breathing through the pores. We're inflating the balloon around your body. And then you're condensing the chi in your dantian. You drop your hips, stretch your spine, put the energy here. Condense. Now expand. Now do it a little bit slower than the last repetition. Remember the four cycle breath? It slows you down, puts you in a deeper state of energy. And condense into your center of gravity. And breathe in a little bit more slowly. And condense a little bit more slowly. Breathe in a little bit more slowly. And condense a little bit more slowly. Okay, so 10 minutes. Switch off the video, train this for 10 minutes. Expand and contract, opening all the joints, dropping and condensing as you breathe out. Opening all the joints, opening, closing, opening, closing. Now this opening of the body, expanding your space, and then condensing all that energy in your center of gravity. In some people, it's going to create nervous twitching through the nervous system as the energy seeks to uh, get out. It may create heat or coolness or vacuity in your core, depending on your personality type. It might make you light and floaty. You ground yourself in the floating. Someone puts a force on you, you float them. If you're an earth person, then you're going to sink it into the ground and you're going to ground yourself out inside that feeling of chi and then you stretch your joints to emanate the jin off the ground using ground currents. I noticed that Ma Yu Ling liked to float in a sea of chi around him. You watch his videos, he's not grounding, he's floating in chi and someone is in that space, they float in his chi and he uproots them. So you don't need to be preoccupied with sinking into the earth unless you like that model. I think that model is not very healthy. Uh, it puts too much compression on the spine, compression on the joints. You want everything to be open, vital, and breathing. So doing the astral method, or more of a water approach, where everything's open and you float in the sea of chi, this is a very good model for the first year. In the first year of training, just float in that sea of chi. Okay, so you've taken some time. You've, um, you've uh, done the breathing exercises. You can take 10 minutes just to really sink, compress, switch off the video, come back in, and now we're going to move with this energy. So you take a direction. I'm looking through a window. There's some beautiful trees just outside the window. I put my mind on the trees. I, I use my spirit and breath to touch. I touch the tree. Now I soft, softly go into the feeling of chi. I drop my hip, stretch my spine, spine, draw the energy from the tree into my dantian. Condense it there. Feel gravity. I bounce my center of gravity off the ground all the way. Then I push it back to the tree. Push my back foot into the ground. Stretch all the joints. Extend the chi out slowly to the tree. Stretch it out there. Just float yourself in the feeling of the chi. There's a wave of energy moving from you out. Just float inside of it. Feel the tree. Pull the energy back. Pull it into your core. Magnetic, pull the joints open, suck everything in, and move it back in. Your hands become more magnetic. Drop, feel, feel the energy in your center, feel your center of gravity bounce humming off the ground, and then express that chi back out. Extend it out to the tree. Now continue that exercise for 10 minutes. When you've done 10 minutes of this, guess what? You've got the seed, the basic method of movement for Tai Chi. If you know a Tai Chi form, you can open close every movement of the form. Do Tai Chi by mind moves Chi, Chi moves body. If you're not doing this in Tai Chi, you're not doing Tai Chi. You're doing aerobics, you're loosening, you're doing something that is not Tai Chi. Mind moves the Chi, Chi moves the body. This is a basic fabric of Tai Chi. So practice this. In a push-pull, any movement you want, you can wave to the left, suck back, wave to the left, suck back, whatever you want to open and close. Push and pull is the easiest. Having a tree as a meditation object gives a nice extension of energy. And from here, you're in a place of power where now you have the keys to mastering Tai Chi. You master one movement, you've mastered all movements because the principle is flowing through 
your mental body is in the right place, your astral chi is in the right place, and it's relating to, to gravity and your body correctly through your physical center of gravity. Okay, so I hope this helps people with learning how to do Tai Chi correctly and how, to, how the mind moves Chi, Chi moves body and how you can implement that into your form. This should take no longer than one to two hours to get to this point. And you should be able to do this correctly, to do your form correctly, to do real Tai Chi. Okay, thank you for your time. And uh, I will see you on the next video. TheMarshallMan.com